Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brickzar, your home for vintage Lego, which, you know what? Mindstorms is vintage now. The old Mindstorms. <laughs> it's like over 20 years old. But anyway, I'm going to be talking about this book that was sent to me by No Starch Press. It's by Daniel Benedictelli. He's a really smart Mindstorms inventor. He's made several other books uh, that explain Mindstorms in a way that Lego doesn't seem to be able to do. So they've sent me a copy to look at. I've, I've looked through the contents and I've looked at some of the, um, the builds that are in here and I'm very interested in a few of them. And I'll give you the kind of the backstory of one of these and why I'm interested in now buying the set. <laughs> uh, as a kid, I always wanted to make a robot. And I'm talking, we're talking late 70s here. Uh, I purchased this book. I'm not sure what the year of publication of the book was, uh, but it was called Build Your Own Working Robot Pet, and it showed you how to build a robot out of a, like a child's car. <laughs> Actually, there were two books, uh, and I may be m m m meshing together my memory of these, but I still got the books. I just could I tried to go through before I filmed this video to dig them out. Uh, to build these robots that are seemingly aut autonomous, uh, but the one from my childhood that was using like TTL circuits and just basic gates, and it was just to mimic life. It didn't didn't really mimic life. I mean, it wasn't aut autonomous and going to take over the house, but it was very complicated and it was way above my budget as a as a kid. I mean, I could go buy small electronic kits at Radio Shack, and I loved going to Radio Shack. That's, that's the only store I wanted to go to when we went to the mall, although I did go to the arcade and played video games, but <laughs> and the Rubik's Cube. But, uh, yeah, it was just too expensive. And so now when I think of this, this $350 Mindstorm set, that this book explains how to use better than Lego does. I'm like, wow, that, this is so much more doable than my 12-year-old idea that I wanted to build. So let me just show you, I'm going to show you briefly some of the, the builds that are here. I'm not, it's not going to be a page-by-page -page thing. You, you have to go buy the book. But the thing, I, I just looking through this, the thing I like is it explains things. Because when I, the last few Mindstorms things I've done, I just didn't like the explaining that Lego did. So let me show it to you. So I've been on the fence about getting this robot inventor set. Um, the, the, all these, all these builds like this guitar, they're from that set, which in the inside cover shows the parts list for set five one five one five. About a three hundred and sixty dollars set on Lego. Uh, dot com right now, but the table of contents tells you what's in here, and there's seven models starting with the baseball batter. You got a gobbler. There's the whack a mole thing down there. But the ones I'm interested in primarily are Shelly the turtle, the pinball, and the guitar. Now, the Transformer is interesting. I think it, uh, I haven't gone into much detail in, in reading about it, but it looks like it's a car or a robot, uh, the same build. But the uh, the Turtle, that's the one that got me thinking about my childhood and my dream of having a, a robot pet. <laughs> this thing would have been massive, the one that, in, that I had the book on and how to build it, and it would have been very expensive. <laughs> And it was basically impossible for a kid. Uh, but this is doable. And it's just a little guy. So Shelly is a shy robotic pet turtle. So it goes through not only how to build it. It's got step-by-step -step procedures. But also how to program it. And how you can think about ways of adjusting the programming. If you want to. And so this is the thing. It's just like all the words. <laughs> it's like explaining how to do things. Uh, explaining what the different variables do I, I don't know what these all these uh, the coding is i don't know anything about coding on these things and i have not had i since i haven't got this mindstorm set this 51515 i've not had any experience with that or i guess the app that goes with it but i just think this is i like these ideas that they have in here and the other one that i'm very interested in because i love pinball so he's got how to build a working pinball machine and i'll show you the final picture of it right here uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. There's the pinball machine. I'd be interested to see how it keeps score. It's got it looks like it's got a score thing right there on the screen. There, 
Uh, but as other people may be interested in the guitar. So he shows you how to build a guitar out of this. So really nice, well-written book. In the back, it's even got how um, some coding tips back there, you know, expanding the software. Uh, this reference guide shows you different blocks that you can use. Don't want to show it all to you. Give away. You have to go buy it if you want to see it. But I want to thank uh, No Starch Press for sending me this book to show you. And tempt me to buy set 51515 so that's the book from no starch press again thank you to those guys for sending this to me daniel has a lot of other awesome builds uh, check him out he's done a lot of uh, different uh, books as well on lego mindstorms so uh, I'm trying to think i may have another one of his books I, I i got a lot to learn but this book is going to help me and if you've seen my review of some of the other Mindstorm stuff in the, what was that other thing that I didn't like that I used to program, that you did with the roller coaster, I was so frustrated because I was like, I don't know how to program this thing. <laughs> this, this is going to help, I think. So let me know in the comments below, do I buy the set? If I get enough people saying yes, I definitely will, but I'm... Actually, by the time you watch this, I may have already bought it. It's double VIP. Very tempting. And these builds are very cool. Let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to play Pac-Man. You know, we actually got a Pac-Man game in the house. Don't ever play it. That might be Bricks has it. He's thinking about getting the Tron game. I want to get uh, Robotron 2084. That's the one I want to get. I'll see you guys.